Uganda is a country in East Africa that uh, has about three, 33 million people right now. Um, it's had, it's had uh, a fair share of civil war. During the civil war in Uganda that lasted between 19, about 1988 to 2005, most of the people in northern Uganda were actually put in internally displaced people's camps. Uh, when the war ended, they were resettled into their homes, but they had lost almost their entire livelihoods, including houses, livestock, farm implements and things like that. The Gulu Agricultural Development Company um, that deals with cotton, growing, ginning and exporting, set up farmer groups in northern Uganda um, to grow cotton and they would help them by giving them farm implements like seeds, like agronomy training, and then also give them a, a, a ready market for their, for their crop. Because they, need, they were expanding at a very high rate, uh, they also approached Root Capital for extra financing to help them uh, reach even more farmers. And so Root Capital was able to give them more trade credit to help them expand. Some of the notable impacts that Gulu Agricultural Development Company has had on their farmer suppliers uh, include things like being able to take their children to school, being able to build uh, better quality houses for themselves, being able to uh, uh, buy items like bicycles or even motorcycles for their transportation, and, and, and generally being able to live a better life in many, many ways. So in, in, in general, in my perspective, I, 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 I see GADC as an example of how good agricultural businesses can demonstrate a, a clear and sustainable way in which a community coming from uh, a conflict history can, be, can become more vibrant in a very sustainable manner. Cote d'Ivoire is a West African country um, known for its cocoa production capacity but also one of the main cashew producers in that region. Unfortunately, Cote d'Ivoire experienced political crisis from 2000 to 2011 that ended up in a war. During the war, the, there was this line between the north and the south. So Cote d'Ivoire was divided. Uh, the rebels were in the north of the country and the north happens to be the cashew production area. The main source of income was cashew and that was the main activity. With the war, um, the country borders were closed, therefore um, importers of cashew could not get into the country to buy the product and population in the north was victim of hunger and extreme poverty. Tuba is one of the two largest areas where cashew is grown in Cote d'Ivoire and we have a client agribusiness that is based in Tuba. So agribusiness started in 2008 and then active processing activity started giving hope to the population once uh, they started the production then the war started again. Um, agribusiness could no longer export and had to stop and shut down the firm. The war ended uh, around March, April 2011 and that's when activities started in the plant in Tuba. So all these population that were displaced and uh, that moved away from Tuba uh, came back with the hope to have again um, employment, another source of income. They were having income from the collecting the raw cashew nut that they would sell to the firm or to the nut traders. Mm. The second income is from being hired at this plant, this new plant, that is the only one in Tuba, and therefore the woman and the youth uh, would uh, have other alternative than joining the military and being given arms to go fight. Providing income to these farmers and also uh, making sure that the youth is safe and now bringing back hope to the population, this is a big change for the area.